So today we're going to talk about the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun, and how they're all part of our solar system. And our solar system is this huge thing that contains all our planets, our, the Earth that we live on, and the Sun. So all the planets are rotating around the sun. The sun does not move and does not change positions. The earth is the third planet away from the sun, which is a good thing. We don't want to be too close and be burning hot every day, nor too far, but we're freezing. So as the earth rotates, it also rotates on its axis. And the earth rotates around the sun, but it does not rotate on a perfect circle. It rotates more of an ovally shape. <laughs> so that means at one point, the earth is really near to the sun, which is our spring and summertime. And what sometimes is really far, which is winter and fall time. And as it rotates around the sun, the earth is also rotating on its axis which gives us access to the sun during the day and access to the moon during the night. And whenever the earth is closer to the sun, we know it's during the warmer seasons, which if we go outside, we see our shadows and our shadows tend to be shorter because of the, the light given off from the sun to the earth. And as it's further away, our shadows tend to be longer because the distance of the sun and the earth. And as the earth rotates on its axis, we are on this side of the earth. Let's say we're on this side of the earth, right? That means we see the day. But as we rotate, we're not on this side, meaning the other side of our earth is now seeing the sun and it's during the night during the daytime and we're nighttime now and we're seeing the moon because of this rotational axis and of the earth and whenever we're on earth okay, now let's pretend i'm the earth and this is the moon and as we are rotating again our moon is also rotating. So let's pretend my lamp is now the sun and you see how it shines on the moon. That means we're able to see this part of the moon. And as we rotate it, you can tell how the shape of the moon changes because of the sun, sunlight hitting the moon is absorbing the light. And it actually takes the moon and the earth, the moon to rotate. 30 days around the earth, meaning we see a different moon every, we see a different phase of the moon every night. And as the earth rotates around the sun, it takes 365 days, so a whole year. And it only takes the moon to rotate around the earth one day, but it takes the moon to rotate on itself 30 days. So remember, whenever we're closer to the sun, it's warmer, further away, it's colder, our shadows are longer. When it's colder, the earth rotates counterclockwise, which means it's west to east. And if the sun rises in the east, it sets on the west and the earth can rotate from west to east in the opposite direction. And it takes the earth 24 hours to rotate once around its own axis. Oh, why did it move? <laughs> So that's all for now. So remember, we're going to learn more about our Earth, Sun, and Moon in our lesson and be excited to learn and ready to explore it and what it means to be part of a solar system.